This video is about three top tips to help you have consistently long and strong nails. Is that too long? All of it, all of it, all of it can help me see love you so much. So the top tip number one to consistently have strong nails. Hey, hey, beautiful people. Welcome back to This Girl's Insights, where you can find vlogs and sit down conversations about faith and lifestyle. In each of my videos, I share my insights, my journey, my life with you today i get to share my nails with you um if you guys have been watching for a while or if you follow me on instagram you will know that i keep my nails long um is that too long um this is generally what we're working with um i don't know if you can tell but the left hand is slightly longer than the right but those are my nails those are the babies and today i am going to talk to you about well i'm going to give you my three top tips about how i went from the chick or was always when did i start saying chick is that a new thing I feel like I've said it in a couple of videos now, but I don't think I say it. I do say it in real life, guys. I say check. I'm not sure if I'm happy with that. Anyways, I'm going to tell you how I went from the check who was always biting her nails and couldn't grow her nails to all of this, all of this, all of this, all of this. Okay, let's get into this video. This video is about three top tips um, to help you have consistently long and strong nails like I do, like I always do. Um, so straight into it, top tip number one. Let me come close. Um, so the top tip number one to consistently have strong nails has nothing to do with your nails. It is all about your diet and making sure you get enough water. Now, whenever anyone, anyone asks me a question about hair, nails, anything, anything outside related, the first thing I always start with is Make sure you have a balanced diet and make sure you're drinking enough water. Now, I am not a dietitian. I cannot tell you what vitamins you need to be having to have strong nails. I feel like iron might be one, but I might have made that up. So don't take like, don't look too closely into this. But I think the general idea is like for your nails to grow and for your nails to grow quickly. Now, I think everyone's nails grows at a different pace. Mine seem to be pretty fast. Like usually I break a nail and a couple of weeks later, like or a week later or 10 days later, it's back. It's not really like a, I'm not really waiting for months for my nails to grow. Um, generally, if you want your nails to grow, you want your body to send nutrients to your nails. Now, here's the thing though, your body don't care nothing about your nails. Your body's like, I would like to keep you alive. Your body's main focus is, is the liver working? Is the kidney working? Your body is basically thinking all about the organs. It's not thinking about none of this. It's not thinking about, is her hair looking cute? Are her nails strong or nice? So what you need to do is, you need to give your body all the nutrients it needs for the important stuff and some extra. Because what it's going to do then is it's going to give that extra to your nails and to your hair and your skin and the rest of it. But generally, what's going on with my hair? Ignore that. Anyways, um, but yeah, it's going to give all of that extra to your nails and your hair and your skin and basically all of the outward stuff that doesn't really keep you alive, but keeps you looking cute. So that's my first main thing. If you want to grow strong nails, make sure you're taking care of the inside of you. And when I say have a balanced diet, um, again, there are different, like I'm sure there are YouTube videos, I'm sure there are books you can get um, about how to have a balanced diet. And I'll probably leave something like some like a good book. I think I have the A to Z Bible. There's stuff like, there's so many books on having a balanced diet. I'll leave like a couple good suggestions in the description box below so you can check that out but if you're not willing to get all complicated if you're not trying to start studying your diet though you should be taking care of what you're eating anyways but if you're not trying to go into your diet just because of your nails um what i will always say is have a colorful plate so again if you're one of my people if you're african we tend to have like rice and rice and if you're hungry there's more rice and maybe if we're healthy we'll have rice with mixed veg on the side but all this rice and this amount of mixed veg so basically what you want to do is you want to have a plate where you've got yellows and reds and greens and normally if you have a colorful plate um of obviously healthy food not haribos but if you have a colorful plate um you're normally getting a variety of nutrients another good tip is swap the sides of your mains with the size of your salad. So make the size of your veg, make your veg the size of your mains and then make whatever your carbs is. So if it's rice, if it's potatoes, if it's whatever, make that the size of a salad. So have a plate that's mainly vegetables and then, am I making sense y'all? 
I don't know if I'm making sense. I'm really struggling to structure this sentence. What I'm basically trying to say is when you have a plate, normally you have mainly rice or mainly potatoes or mainly something carby and then some veg on the side or like a side salad. And what I'm saying is make it mainly veg and then make your potatoes or your rice or your carby thing in majiggy the size of a side salad and that way you're getting more nutrients into your meal so that is my very first tip um make sure you're eating properly make sure you're drinking water um make sure you're basically taking care of yourself because if you are if the inside of you is healthy the outward would look more healthy now with the second tip we actually start talking about the nails itself well not so much the nails but we start talking about the tools you need to have with you and my second tip to growing long nails is always make sure you have your tools with you now by tools i am referring to things like clippers um a nail file um and yes i know it looks messy that's because it gets used because that's how i keep my long nails now what am i talking about now when people talk about long nails they're talking about how can i grow fast nails and there's so many products out there help you grow fast nails you can take pills you can put polish just there's just everything to help you grow the fast nails but then it's not about it's not just about how fast your nails are growing it's about whether you're keeping your nails so if your nails grow really fast but they're always breaking guess what love you're not gonna get long nails are you you're not no you're not because they're gonna grow and they're gonna break aren't they so what you want to do is it's a bit like hair um if anyone's into the hair journey if you want long hair, you want to grow hair, but you want to retain the hair you have. Similarly with your nails, if you want long nails, you want to grow your nails and your nails are always growing and at a different pace, but they're always growing. But if you want them to be long, you just have to give it enough time where you don't break a nail. Because if you break a nail, you go back to a short nail. Now, this is where the tools come in. Now, like I said before, I used to have short nails. I used to be like a serious nail biter. I don't know, why do we bite our nails? Is there like a theory? If anyone knows why human beings bite our nails, leave it in the comment section below. Like, is it a nervous habit? So anyways, I said all that to say, I used to be a nail biter. And then there was a period of my life for like two and a half years where I wasn't wearing any makeup. That's a different conversation. Let me know if you want to find out about that. And I'll do a video about that in the future. Oh, I love it when that sound happens. Can you all hear that? <laughs> ah. Anyways, um, what was I saying? So as part of that period, I started to care about my nails because obviously it's like, if you ain't got no makeup, you ain't doing anything. Um, and I even wasn't doing polish at that time. You start caring about the bit, like what you've got. And that's when I started growing out my nails. And the trick that saved my life was always having tools. So in the sense that sometimes, you know, you'll be walking around and then you've just got like a little chip on the side of your nail and it's just rough. Now, if you have a nail file with you, what you want to do is you just want to file that down again in one direction because all that up down up down movement is not good just file in one direction what you want to do is you want to file in one direction and you want to just get rid of any chips as soon as it appears literally i have a nail file at my desk i have a nail file in my bag wherever i am there is a nail file and i don't care where i am well maybe not in church i can wait till after service but in most places i will just deal what was that in most places, I will just deal with, so if you've got like a, so generally you will notice the edges of my nails are always pretty much smooth because as soon as there is a ridge or as soon as there's a rough edge, you want to file that down because what happens is if you have a rough edge, it's more likely to get caught on a piece of fabric. It's more likely to get caught on something and then it pulls and then you've got a broken nail and then now you have another short nail so if you're trying to retain your nails what you want to do is you want to make sure all the edges are completely smooth whenever you run your fingers around it like you can see right here you just want to keep all of this completely smooth you don't want to have any rough edges now if by any chance you happen to have a proper split and you need to break and you've actually broken a nail but it's not broken at the base what you want to do is you want to instantly clip that it's a it's like a hair trim you want to clip it, but you want to clip it in a way where you don't. So let's say, oh, that's my middle finger. I don't, let's, so let's do with this finger. Let's say I split this nail over here. I am not going to go and then clip it over there. What I'm going to do is I'm going to clip it halfway and then I'm going to shape it so that the curve goes towards where the clip is. I'm not sure if that makes sense, but I'm basically saying you don't, if you break your nail over here, you don't clip it from here, you clip it here, and then you file it. 
so you're trying to retain as much of your nail as possible so whenever you're clipping your nails try and clip as little as possible if it has broken and just file it back into a shape and luckily because i tend to keep my nails rounded as opposed to a square I never really need to file as far back as a break um and at this stage i don't really break my nails that much but that is basically the second tip always have your tools with you always have nail clippers and a nail file in your handbag with you and as soon as you notice a ridge or a clip as soon as you notice a rough edge as soon as you notice a broken nail deal with it instantly so that it doesn't get worse don't wait five hours because what's going to happen is it's going to break even more so just always take care of your nails and have your tools with you now the very last tip is one that and again there's so many other things like for instance do not bite your nails um if you bite your nails it's not gonna grow like i don't have to tell you that i don't know why i'm getting so aggressive in this video i think it's because i'm in a bit of a rush why am i in a bit of a rush let's calm down so the third and final tip is nail polish is your best friend so i have not had okay i know i can't talk right now i don't have nail polish on right now um I have not had nail polish on for the last couple months but when i first started trying to grow my nails actually not when i first started trying to grow my nails but generally if you're trying to grow your nails what you don't want to do is you don't want to have your naked nails dealing with the environment you want to have nail polish to kind of just cover it up to protect it to reinforce it now if you have weak nails now i used to have really weak nails and to be fair even right now i don't have the strongest nails ever they're not as weak as they used to be but they're not that strong i used to to this day I love Sally Hansen nail hardener. To be fair, I use a heck of a lot of Sally Hansen everything. Um, but then the nail hardener is a great thing if you have weak nails. So the Sally Hansen nail hardener, you can basically use that as a base coat. Um, you can use two coats and just have a clear polish. Um, but generally, even if you don't have, like if you don't have weak nails, what you just wanna have to do is you always wanna make sure you've got nail polish on so that your nails aren't exposed to the environment it's not getting caught and stuff it's a bit more reinforced basically what you just want to do is you want to protect your nails so you want to make sure you're covering it up with something so whether that's clear nail polish whether that's something colored whether that's something fancy now don't protect your nails with something that's gonna actually weaken your nails or something that's bad for your nails like just leave your nails as they are but just do polish on there um and that is basically my three top tips so you know first tip is make sure you're eating healthy and taking care of yourself second tip always have your tools on you and third tip is protect your nails make sure that you're covering them with polish or something to protect them and for anyone who doesn't know what Sally Henson is um it is a pretty popular like nail brand but what I would do is I will leave a link in the description box to the nail hardener I use I use the Sally Henson hard as nails um I do have a couple of her products so what I might do is I might leave like a couple of the products that I do like um in the description box um the double duty um base and top coat is pretty good as well so I'll leave that in the description box for you to check out and any other good products I think might work for you with regards to the nail kit like a nail file clippers you can get that from basically everywhere you can get that from like your local supermarket you can get it from like a beauty supply store you can get it from a chemist like i will also leave like links in case you like to order online like you know so i will leave links to everything in the description box below but i hope that has helped and you guys have enjoyed all of this you know because we're all about the nails all about it but yeah i feel like this video was very high energy did you guys get that vibe i don't know why though um but you know, it's where we are. It's what's happened. I can't, I, well, I could go back and re-record it, but you know, we ain't doing that. Um, <laughs> I also feel like I saw a lot of shade. Did I saw a lot of shade in this video? Please, could you tell me in the comment section that I saw a lot of shade? I feel like, I don't know. I feel like there was just a lot of energy and then there was just shade coming from different directions. But here's the thing, if y'all have seen my it's either my get to know me tag or my new youtuber tag video i feel like it's my get to know me tag no it's my new youth it's my it's my it's my get to know me tag and you know what do i say in that video i say i only shade people i love so if you feel shaded or if i was throwing a heck of a lot of shade in this video i obviously love you so much i would do the heart shape but i always do it wrong why do i always do why can't i do that shape Y'all didn't see that. Let's go. Moving on swiftly. So if you have watched this video and you have felt like I have been shading you, baby girl, I love you. <laughs> well, y'all, okay. I need to get up and stop recording this video because the longer I record, the longer I have to edit. Everyone knows this. <laughs>
please let me know in the comment section below what else you'd like to see if you'd like to see more nail videos or just any other videos if you kind of want to see like you know more of my beauty routines daily routines what i do with my nails i do have quite a few more tips um about how i take care of my cuticles and all of that good stuff i don't know why i'm doing this Okay, beautiful people, um, I hope you found this video in some way, shape or form um, encouraging, entertaining or just simply informative. Um, now, if you did enjoy this video, could you please do me a favor? Could you please, you know, find the thumbs up button, please like the video. And while you're looking at buttons, also find the subscribe button and join the family. Honestly, we're lovely people and we would love to have you. So subscribe, join the family, comment, all of that good stuff, like the video. And I will see you in the next video. So for now, I'm just going to say, God bless you. Jesus loves you. And may this will of God be with you. Bye, guys. What should I say? Bye, guys. Do not watch the Japanese version of The Ring. They're not just brown. They're wonderfully brown. They're gloriously brown. Oh, that's the smell of love. Somebody praise Jesus for me.